Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be, and welcome to my post on true love. I like to collect ideas, and this is my collection of ideas about love. Aristotle said, wicked men obey from fear, while good men obey from love. I think this illuminates the similarity of fear and love. When hypervigilant parents see death lurking everywhere, through their terror, they are expressing their love for their child. And when we see a person we like, Love feels like the terror that we are going to miss out on some vital experience. But maybe this is the wrong way to approach the topic. In Plato's Symposium, Phaedrus talks about how love facilitates the transfer of knowledge. Eryximachus claims that love affects everything in the universe including plants and animals. Aristophanes talks about how love inspires people to complete their images of themselves. Socrates draws a distinction between the purpose of love and love itself. He says, love is a thing produced through propagation and reproduction, either physical or intellectual. Diotima talks of how love is a desire for beauty, an ordered pattern which tells us something of truth. Since love creates beauty at the same time that it desires it, is there something recursive? There is something recursive there. But have 2,000 years increased our understanding of love? Today, one talks of love as a madness we fall into or are struck by. This sort of love is an idea that lives in the mind of one person. There is also the sort of love that is created between two people. It is like a collaborative project, a mingling of hopes and dreams and possibilities. Then there is the notion of love as something that creates order from disorder, a force that creates a pattern of purpose and meaning from nothing. This is similar to the recursive ideas expressed in Plato's Symposium. An ordered idea gives rise to a physical act which creates more order. Does all order in the universe spring from love? The Buddhists thought that love was to be avoided in a happy life. In an old Buddhist story called Dream of the Red Chamber, a woman tricks a man and he is torn in half by his love and hate for her. Did I forget to... Oh. He is given a magic mirror which can cure him of this passion, but only if he doesn't look into the mirror. When he looks into the mirror, he sees the woman and is sucked into the mirror, doomed to suffer for eternity. There's also something recursive in that story, but it's different from the Platonic version. St. Augustine thought that one should only love another person through their connection to God, such that it makes no sense to mourn the loss of someone because you both belong to God and not to one another. Seneca thought that one should never love anything so much that its removal would cause you pain. I'm not that stoic. <laughs> I know that a relationship without love can be quite comfortable, but a life without love is hardly a life. If you want to love deeply, you have to be able to handle a lot of pain. But 
love is worth the pain. I put some rather twisted love stories in my books, and I invite you to take a look and see what you think. Thank you for watching this video, and please tune in for the next one. Until next time.